In this video, we are going to be creating some DAS morphs for the Genesis 9 figures and clothes. The first thing that we're going to do is add a Genesis 9 figure. Let's go over to Smart Content Figures, and I'm going to choose the Genesis 9 dev load. Now, next, we need to remove the mesh smooth. So go over to the right side panel where it says Parameters. Under Transform, you will see Mesh Resolution. And we're going to change this from the high resolution to the base resolution. Now we're going to go and export this. You can click this export icon or go into the file menu and click export. We're going to save this as an OBJ file. And I'm going to name that Genesis 9. Save that. On this OBJ export options, we're going to click here where it says two, and we're going to change this. We're going to change this to Daz Studio. Do not use Blender. For some reason, that doesn't work. So we're going to choose Daz Studio. One unit equals one centimeter, and we're going to change the scale to one percent. Now, uh, be sure to keep this in mind. When we export this from Blender, we're going to need to change this to a hundred percent. Uh, for the rest of the settings, uh, ignore invisible nodes, right? UV coordinates. I don't think we need any of this. I think it's pretty good what you see on your screen. You can also save this as a preset if you want, which I, if this actually works, if you get this working the second time to do it, I would probably, I would suggest you save that as a preset and click accept. Switch over to Blender. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load factory default settings just to uh, make sure it's it's a clean file. I'm going to select all of these and delete. And next, we're going to import that OBJ file. And uh, I'm not sure if you've noticed, there's actually two OBJ import settings. Uh, there's a the regular, the, the I guess the new OBJ, and then there's the legacy OBJ. I'm going to go with the legacy and I'm just going to uncheck these. I don't believe you need these, but uh, under geometry, keep vertex order and polygroups. Now, basically what we're trying to do is uh, we want to keep the same uh, vertexes and uh, we're going to keep them the same in, in the same name. We don't want to create and we don't want to subtract because if you subtract or create new um, new geometry, is this is not going to work. So we're going to click import and there we go. We have our figure. Now, once you have your figure, select your figure, go to object mode and go to scope. At the top right of the screen, you'll see this little butterfly. That's the mirror. You want to use that. You want to turn that on if you want to do uh, some scopes uh, symmetrically. And you want to make sure you, when you do your, your sculpting, you choose a brush that's not going to add any geometry. So I'm just going to do some sculpting right there. There, there we go. So we have our sculpt. Now we're going to export this. Go to file export. I don't think it may it may not matter, but these settings uh, right here where it says uh, scale one percent, you're going to want to change that to one hundred percent. And under geometry, you don't I don't you don't really need this. We you just really need the position. I'm going to save this and export that. We're going to switch over back to Daz. Now with our Genesis nine figure selected, we're going to go to edit, go down to object and choose morph loader pro from here. We're going to choose Daz studio 1% and let's see under these settings that looks good under here next to preset. We're going to choose morph file and navigate and select our new body morph under this dialog box. Also, you can save this as a preset as well or up here. Unclick this document tree, right click uh, where it says control, create control property. We're going to change that to yes, because that's going to create a property over here uh, where it says reverse deformations. We're going to uh, keep that to no. And for overwrite existing, uh, that, that's uh, this is uh, we're going to use this if uh, let's say you make a mistake or you make a change and you reimport import the file and it has the same or the, the morph and it has the same name, you'll want to uh, click uh, change this from from make unique to create Delta and ERC links. But this is fine. Just just click create control property and that should be good and click accept. And as you can see, loading morph, new body morph, created morph successful. So now in the parameters tab, uh, we see at the bottom it says morph and you click morph and you can see our new morph here. And we're going to turn this up. And as you can see, we have our new morph. And also what you can do is go over to the new morph and click the gear, go over to parameter settings, modify the name and label. And uh, what you want to do is where it says minimum negative 100%. I'm going to change that to uh, 0%. So that way it doesn't go to, it starts at zero. All right. 
Next, we're going to create a morph. Uh, let's say that you have Genesis figure and it already has a morph applied to it. So let's go and let's delete this, add another Genesis 9 figure, and we're going to go to shaping and we're going to make this a male body. So let's say that we already have a morph attached. So this is what we're going to do. A morph already applied, our character applied. We're going to go, we're going to go back to param parameters, mesh resolution, and we're going to change this back to the base mesh, the base resolution. Okay. We're going to select this. We're going to export again. So this is the Genesis 9 male preset. Let's keep this the same, uh, the scale. Make sure you choose Dash Studio, make the scale 1%. Uh, I'm just gonna uncheck write separate objects. Don't, we don't need the materials. And what you see on your screen, that should be sufficient. Click accept and we're gonna go back to Blender. Load our factory default again. Just now let's load port our uh, OBJ. I'm gonna use the legacy. All right, choose our Genesis 9 male. Put in our settings on the ge geometry keep vertex order just the same as before click import and we're going to do some sculpting we're going to sculpt again all righty then go to export wavefront we're going to just save over this last morph that we created so as far as settings we're going to change the scale to 100 percent and you can basically leave all of these off we just need to make again make sure you change the scale to 100 percent now with your back in daz click your genesis 9 figure select edit go to object and morph loader pro choose daz studio all of these should be fine we're going to choose our our morph again choose new body morph open up this document tree uh, right click where it says uh create new property just like last time and we'll click yes because that's going to create a new morph property where it says reverse defamation we're going to we're going to click yes this time the first time we click no this time we're going to click yes because uh we already have a morph uh selected and uh overwrite existing so if there was a an existing one if you made a mistake and you want to in you resave it and you re-imported it with the same name. What you want to do is click overwrite existing deltas and ERC links. Let's click accept, create a new morph successfully. Now we have our Genesis 9 male figure. And we'll go over to morph and as you can see, it applied that new morph right there. Again, we can go over to this, click this gear parameter and settings and change the minimum from negative 100 to zero. All right. So our, for our final step, what I'm going to do is we're going to create a more for a t-shirt or for some clothing. What we're going to do again is add in our Genesis 9 figure, go over to wardrobe. Uh, we're going to add a t-shirt, some shorts. We're going to select our t-shirt and we're going to remove the subdividing, uh, change the, resol the, the resolution level to base. And I'm going to also hide the body and the shorts. Now we're going to export this t-shirt. Let's name that Genesis 9 t-shirt. Go we'll over to Daz Studio. We're going to do this same settings. Choose Daz Studio. Change that to 1%. Now let's uncheck right separate objects. We're going to export this as an OBJ. Just pretty much the same settings as before and click accept and we're going to import that Let's load these factory settings again import choose shirt keep vertex order poly groups click import and do our scope team so let's add some more wrinkles okay so we have our our sculpted shirt now we're going to export this Let's name this new shirt morph be sure to change this back to 100 percent i'm going to uncheck all of these because we don't need those and click export i'm going to go back to daz select our shirt go to edit object morph loader pro daz studio settings choose your morph just like the last time just like using the body new t-shirt morph yes Create a con uh, create control property. Re reverse defamations. Going to leave, leave that at no. Make unique. All right. Looks like that came in okay. As you can see in the parameters, there's a morph tab, and we have our new shirt wrinkles. I think we can turn back on our resolution level, and there we go. It's, it's a little hard to see because because the color, the actual color, but we have our morph, and we can go back in here, go to parameters, change that to zero percent for the minimum, so we can adjust that. We can adjust that. And also one more, what we're going to do. So let's say you have a figure. It has clothes and uh, the figure actually has a morph applied to it. And you want to do the same and uh, create a, some sort of morph for the shirt. And but there's a morph already applied. 
to it. Pretty much the exact same thing. So we're gonna go, we're gonna take this shirt, turn off the smoothing. We're gonna hide the shorts in the figure. We're gonna export this. Let's name this Genesis 9 shirt too. Export this with Dash Studio. Again, do not use Blender. Change the scale to 1%. Uncheck uh, write separate objects, write li libraries that you see on your screen. Click accept. We're gonna go back to Blender and port that into Blender using the legacy. It's Genesis 9 shirt too. Turn off all of these. Not really sure if they're doing anything, but just to be safe, keep vertex order and polygroup. All right, we're gonna do we're going to do our sculpting. Add I don't know, just add some wrinkles or, or something. Now that we're done, we're gonna export this again. Just need that shirt wrinkles. Turn off all of these settings, but be sure to change the scale back up to 100 percent Export. Make sure this shirt is selected. Go to edit. Object Morph Loader Pro, Dash Studio. These settings look fine. Choose your morph, shirt wrinkles. Go down to where it says create control property. Choose yes for reverse deformations. For now, we're going to change this to yes. And again, if you are overriding, if there's already a morph with the same name, you want to change this to deltas and ERC links. Click accept. And under parameters, click morph. And there we go. See your morph, your new morphs. We see our shrink, our shirt wrinkles. Let's go click the parameter settings and change that to change the minimum to 0%. And there we go. And we have our new shirt morphs. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. And check out this. If you want to see more Dash Studio videos, check out this video right here.